I owe my success to IU Health Indianapolis and its DBS program. It took me from not drinking, eating, talking, or walking after half an hour to speaking legibly, writing legibly, feeding in myself with a fork and spoon, buttoning my shirt, going from a wheelchair into programming to walking on my own two feet. couple years before he told me I could see him shaking and his hand shaking but I knew something was wrong and then one day he came in and told me that what he'd had so from there it just kind of got consistently worse and to the point where well the last time I saw him I, I didn't think he was coming back mm. we can no longer it was hard to communicate he wasn't driving himself anymore he had to have someone driving in and it's just his overall mobility and to know that he had all that in there and just couldn't get it out. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's just a different person. Good. Met Roger through the IU DBS program mm -hmm. uh, at Indiana University here. Uh, pretty much met on his first surgery day. The first thing I remember about Roger's surgery is Roger himself. His positive yeah. approach, his sense of humor. Yeah. Um, because it is, is a, a, the initial surgery, the stage one, where the leads are placed in the brain, uh, because patients are awake for much of that, uh, and the surgeon and the doctors require their feedback mm -hmm. during the surgery, uh, it helps when you've got someone who's, uh, who's got a great sense of humor, like I said, who, who fully participates in that, because that helps them understand that whether they've placed the lead in the right place or not. So his feedback was crucial on that, and he did a great job. Mm -hmm. We assist the medical team uh, in any way that they need in terms of follow-up for years to come, mm -hmm. following the surgeries itself, because it's an ongoing therapy. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think of DBS as, as, a, as just a surgery yeah. or a set of surgeries, and that's true, but it's also a therapy that goes on for years after the surgeries are done. Because he is all about doing, 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 going, 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 like this video, while making it, I think it's given him a time to reflect on his journey. He, we've spoken with many people that have seen him pre and post DBS, and the conversations we've had, for me, have been very emotional and like way to really think about him, himself and what he's been through and to see how far he's come. And so that element is healing. Well, now you see um, why I tell everyone that um, I have the best job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and to work with, with the doctors and nurses that we work with mm -hmm. that, that, that are so patient focused and so compassionate and so conscientious uh, and, and just absolute experts at, at what they do. It's, it's gratifying all around. Mm -hmm. So then he walked back in a year and a half ago, stood in the doorway, and I think OG and I probably fell out of our chairs. We had no idea. We didn't even know he had anything done. Mm -hmm. And he proceeded to tell us what he had done. And it was amazing to see the transformation, what, what he was, mm -hmm. what he'd become. God has the ability to stop you dead still in your track turn you around 180 degrees and take you down the path you said you would never go and like it. <laughs> I believe neuroscience is essential because it will produce in others the miracle I have received. We will still receive this great blessing provided funding is made available for neuroscience equipment, procedures, and research.